How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews. Back with a little bit of a uh, yeah. Tribus Brewing Company up here in the form of the Rhine. This be a Colch 4.8% Balanced Bready Crusher. This was canned about two weeks ago. Very cool label. I always like labels that have like topography on them because that's what that basically is. Super cool stuff. And it comes from my boy Corey. Sent off a bunch of boxes from up that way. Connecticut box. Connecticut box. So we'll see what's what. Uh, it is summer. I want some crushers. So this kind of makes all the sense in the world. Beer wise. Yeah, it looks like an unfiltered Kolsch. Especially in that glass. You know, it just looks more like, you know, ale, like cold fermented ale. <laughs> for the lack of a better term. Yeah, I mean, um, nice kind of uh, semi-aggressive carbonation. Picky finger, uh, soapy edge head, with this little pillowy kind of action going. That's kind of hard to see in these, like, uh, dimpled glasses. But I like using them. Let's get those. It's all about a breadiness in here. A little bit of toasty breadiness. And that's honestly about all I'm getting here. Sure, you get a little bit of kind of clean ferment kind of vibes. Not necessarily lager level vibes, but that kind of thing going on. I tend to get a lot of like melon characteristics off Kolsch's. Not necessarily on this one. To here, here it's more of just this really toasty bready kind of characteristic. And that's pretty much it. No hot profile. Really malt forward. Let's actually dive in. Cheers. There's a little fruity characteristic there. There's a little fruity characteristic there. But I don't even know if it's like a hop base. It might be a like... It's not bubblegum, but it has a hint of that. So maybe it's a little yeast dresser action going on there. A nice little pop of a relatively generic kind of bittery. Nothing too herbal, nothing too spicy. But that's where I would lean if I really had to. And um, that malt was the start of the show, you know? Um, it just comes off toasty. It comes off nice, almost like a toasted cereal grain kind of vibe to it. Done and done. It's it, it's definitely a crusher. Is it a crispy boy? It kind of has a little bit too much density and flabbiness for it to be like an ultra crisp, crispy boy. But I keep kind of going back to that little fruity thing that I was talking about. How I thought may, it might be a, like a yeast thing. And I think it is a little cream corny. So it's a little dimethyl sulfide in there. So there's a little bit of negativity in the beer, but it's not so much that you would kind of like poop on this beer. This whole thing's going to be drank. Um, I think it drinks quite nice. It just has a little bit of that DMS kind of going on in there. So it's one of those beers where it's supposed to be like squeaky clean, but it does have a little bit of kind of negative going on. Nothing too aggressive to the point where it ruins the beer. At the same time, you would like to see that cleaned up. And I think if you do that, the mouthfeel gets a little bit nicer, and then it becomes a more snappier, more crispier kind of crusher than it is now. But, oh no, not too shabby of a Kolsch. Um, let's talk about it. Is it one of the better Kolsch's I've had as late? Eh, neither in nor there. It's that little bit of DMS that kind of keeps it from kind of being kind of top-notch stuff for me. Valued availability? No idea. Let me know what you paid for this, Corey, and leave you with, if you like what, will you like this beer? If you like Kolsch's, I mean, uh, you know, this is going to be a batch to batch thing, but I'd be really curious to try this beer. One hyper fresh, two from the brewery, and three on a second patch to see where it is after that, because it's such a minute thing in here, and that's the one thing about these low ABV kind of beers. There's nowhere to hide if there is a little bit of negativity. That's why I'm so surprised that there's so many well-made ones nowadays. Um, testament how good brewers are, not saying Tribus isn't, um, but this particular batch has a little bit of that going on there, but in no way, shape, or form does it kind of ruin the beer or anything. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see what it tastes like on the next batch. So there we go. Review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you had this one. Let me know what you thought. Um, down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Messy. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of cold action right now. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.